Hi everyone, my name is Anika and this is 8th grade science with Alstom. This video is about the Energy, Conservation and Transfer Standard. The topics included are the relationships between energy and the environment, as well as the conservation of energy. If you get a question right and want to skip the explanation for it, you can go to the timestamp of the next question. All of our questions are timestamped. Also, make sure to check out our links for further reference page at the end of the video for extra practice. This page is linked in the description box along with all of the questions in this video. On this page, you can find a link that goes with each question, so you can dive deeper into the challenging ones. Let's get into the first question. Which of the following is not a natural resource? A. Water B. Copper C. Glass D. Sand The answer to this question is C, glass. Although glass is made from natural resources like sand, it wouldn't exist if people didn't make it, so it's not a natural resource. Question two, which of the following is a fossil fuel? A, coal, B, solar energy, C, wind energy, D, geothermal energy. The answer to this question is coal. So what are fossil fuels? Fossil fuels are energy sources formed from intense heat and pressure on fossils, AKA the remains of plants and animals. When intense heat and pressure is put on fossils for millions of years, it effectively stores the energy that was once within those dead organisms. The three main fossil fuels are coal, oil, and natural gas. These are currently the largest sources of world energy. The problem with fossil fuels is that to get the energy within them, we must burn them, which causes a lot of pollution. Question three, classify the following as renewable or non-renewable resources. Air, oil, solar energy, fresh water, coal, nuclear energy, wind energy, geothermal energy, natural gas, hydropower, and biomass. If you need more time on this question, go ahead and pause the video here. So the answers to this question are, the renewable resources are air, solar energy, fresh water, wind energy, geothermal energy, hydropower, and biomass and the non-renewable ones are oil, coal, nuclear energy, and natural gas. So if you got that right, go ahead and skip to the timestamp of the next question. Otherwise, let's go through each of these resources and see why it's renewable or non-renewable. What is a renewable resource? Renewable resources are resources that are either unlimited or can be replenished quicker than we use it. These are the renewable resources in this question. Air is a renewable resource because it gets filtered through photosynthesis, so clean air is constantly being replenished by the plants on Earth. Solar energy is renewable because sunlight is unlimited. Solar energy also powers all of Earth's natural processes. Fresh water is renewable because the water on Earth is used over and over again because of the water cycle. Because the water cycle will go on forever, water will always be available. Wind energy is renewable because wind is created by the constant rotation of Earth. So as long as Earth is rotating, which will be always, the Earth can never run out of wind. Geothermal energy is renewable because it is the heat within Earth. Heat is constantly produced within Earth. Hydropower is renewable because it's the energy harnessed by moving water. It relies entirely on the water cycle. This is just like fresh water. As long as the water cycle is always going, there will always be hydropower. Biomass is renewable because it is from organic material. There are always living things on Earth. If something dies, another is born to take its place. As long as there are living things on Earth, there will always be biomass energy. Now let's look at the non-renewable resources. 
So non-renewable resources are resources that cannot be replaced for a very, very long time once they are used up. So renewable resources are unlimited. Non-renewable resources are limited. So these are the non-renewable resources in this question. Coal, oil, and natural gas all go into fossil fuels. And as we discussed in the last question, these three resources are formed when intense heat and pressure is applied to the remains of living things over millions of years. So if we were to use up all of the fossil fuels we have right now, it would be millions of years before the Earth could produce any more. This is especially concerning because 84% of the energy currently used around the world are fossil fuels. The next one is nuclear energy. Nuclear power plants run on the isotope uranium-235. This isotope is not very common. If we used up the uranium we have right now, we'd easily run out of it. Hence, it is non-renewable. Question 4. In the following table, two characteristics are filled out for every energy source. How energy is obtained from it and its environmental impacts. Fill out which energy source from the list goes in each blank. Fossil fuels, nuclear power, solar energy, wind energy, hydroelectric energy, geothermal energy, and biomass. You're definitely going to need to pause the video for this question, so go ahead and pause it here where you can see the table. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show the answers to this question. So these are the answers to this question. The first one was nuclear, second was wind, third fossil fuels, fourth solar, fifth hydroelectric, sixth geothermal, and seventh biomass. If you got that right, as always, go ahead and skip to the next timestamp. Otherwise, let's go through and look for keywords that tell us which energy source each of these columns is. So let's take a look at the keywords in the first column. So the keywords here, there are two of them, are uranium atoms and radioactive wastes. Nuclear energy is created by splitting uranium atoms, and it's also the only energy source in the list that produces radioactive wastes. So that's how we know that this is about nuclear energy. The second column is pretty self-explanatory. Wind turns the propeller on a wind turbine which means that this is obviously about wind energy. The keywords in the third column that tell us that this is about fossil fuels are is burned and air pollution. Like we talked about in the last few questions, the way we get energy from fossil fuels is by burning them. The problem with this process is that when fossil fuels are burned, when burned, they cause a lot of pollution and also global warming. So when burned and air pollution, that's how we know that this is about fossil fuels. The next column is about solar energy, and we know this because it says light energy, which is energy from the sun, and photovoltaic panels, which is just a fancy way of saying solar cells. The fifth column is about hydroelectric energy, and the big thing in hydroelectric energy is water. However, both columns five and six say water in them. So how do we know which one is hydroelectric and which one is geothermal? So column six says using the Earth's heat, which is the key word for geothermal because geothermal is about using the Earth's internal heat. So we know that column six is definitely geothermal. And column five, we know for a fact that it is also hydroelectric because hydro for water or water for hydro and generator for electric. So hydroelectric. The last column is about biomass. So the first thing that it says here is, is burned to produce heat. However, that's not really a key word for biomass because is burned is also in fossil fuels. We know that this is biomass and not fossil fuels because it says a carbon neutral energy source, meaning that it doesn't pollute, whereas fossil fuels definitely cause a lot of air pollution. The big things to remember from this table is A, Fossil fuels are very bad for the environment. They produce greenhouse gases and other pollutants when burned, causing both air pollution and global warming. And B, aside from fossil fuels, the remaining energies on this list are all clean energies, meaning that they don't pollute. Question five, which of the following is the most used energy source on earth? A, solar energy, B, hydroelectric energy, C, oil, D, natural gas.
The answer is C, oil. Oil makes up about 39% of the world's energy consumption. This makes sense because as we said in question two, fossil fuels are the largest sources of Earth's energy. Okay, moving on to question six. Which of the following is not a reason why conservation is important? A, to save non-renewable resources for future generations. B, to control global warming and pollution by reducing deforestation. C, to encourage the development of big cities. D, to preserve biodiversity. So the answer to this question is C, to encourage the development of big cities. If you got that question right, go ahead and skip to the next timestamp. Otherwise, let's go through the process of elimination on these answer choices. So the first thing we need to ask here is what is conservation? Conservation is the process of working to reduce the waste or overuse of Earth's natural resources. So what this question is asking is which of the following is not a reason why conservation is important. So let's go through the answer choices and eliminate them. So answer choice A says to save non-renewable resources for future generations. This is one of the most important parts of conservation. If we keep using non-renewable resources carelessly, we'll run out of them sooner than we think. And this would be disastrous because currently the world relies mostly on non-renewables. So we're gonna cross out this answer because this supports conservation. Answer choice B says to control global warming and pollution by reducing deforestation. Deforestation is the waste or overuse of trees and some of the big problems caused by it are global warming and pollution. We need to avoid cutting down this many trees so that we don't cause these problems. So conservation supports this because we're, we're not wasting or overusing the trees. Answer choice C says to encourage the development of big cities. This one seems a bit counterintuitive. Why would a part of conserving Earth's natural resources be to use them up more by developing these cities? So let's leave this answer alone for right now. Lastly, answer choice D says to preserve biodiversity. And this is supporting, supported by conservation because as we take Earth's natural resources out of the Earth, we're often destroying the natural habitats there. So by reducing the amount of natural resources we take out of the earth, we're reducing the amount of natural habitats destroyed. So conservation does preserve biodiversity. So the answer choice is C. Question seven, which is the most commonly used renewable energy source? The answer is hydropower. There's not really an explanation for this one. It's just hydropower is the most commonly used renewable energy source. Okay, last question. Question eight. What type of natural resource are metals? A, non-renewable, B, renewable, C, fossil fuels, D, living. So the answer to this question is A, non-renewable. So when we're looking at these answer choices, right off the bat, we can cross out fossil fuels and living because metals are neither of those things. But are they non-renewable or renewable? So going back to question three, the definition we said for non-renewable resources are resources that cannot be replaced for a very, very long time once they are used up. Metals are non-renewable because there's a finite amount of metals in Earth's crust. Metal doesn't regenerate itself the way plants and other renewable resources do. This means that once we use up all the metals in the crust, the earth can't make more. Were those questions a good review of this standard? Let us know in the comments below. As I said at the beginning of the video, check out our links for further reference page for extra review. If this video was helpful to you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video.